Cedar Point Skyline will never be the same. Closing on September 6, 2021 is Wicked Twister, a ride that's been at Cedar Point for almost 20 years. It's one of the tallest roller coasters in the park, standing 215 feet in the air, max speed 72 miles per hour, given over 16 million rides. The only roller coaster at Cedar Point to go forwards and backwards and is ending its reign at the park. To some people, this was a big surprise. To others, they saw it coming. Why is Cedar Point removing this? The only information we've been given is that it's to prepare for future park improvements. What does that mean? Well, probably that new roller coaster is taking its place, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Before we get to what could replace Wicked Twister, we gotta talk about what's gonna happen with this ride. Because with a ride this unique, surely they aren't just gonna scrap it, right? Well, maybe. It's not uncommon for rides to get relocated and sent to other locations where they can begin their new life. And I think that's certainly a possibility here. At the end of the day, it comes down to whether Wicked Twister has reached the end of its service life or not. Because like I said, the ride is about 20 years old. And launch coasters like this one that use linear induction motors are certainly not cheap rides to maintain. Wicked Twister has had its fair share of issues. So while it may be cheaper to just pick it up and move it somewhere else, you also gotta think about the maintenance costs as well as what it would take to disassemble this thing and ship it to wherever it could go. Personally, I hope that they save it because Wicked Twister is certainly an enjoyable attraction. Is it the best ride ever? No, but it's one that you get off and you're like, yeah, okay, that was good, that was fun. I don't know how much it will be missed because I mean, here at Cedar Point, when you have all these other roller coasters, Wicked Twister did get overshadowed quite a bit. I don't think it was ever one of those rides that you run straight for at the beginning of the day. You know, no one goes to Cedar Point and says, oh man, the, my most anticipated attraction here is Wicked Twister. And I think that certainly showed. I don't think I ever waited more than 15 minutes for this ride. It was always liked, but I don't think it was ever beloved by anyone. But you pick it up and send it to a park that doesn't have as many standout attractions. Suddenly, this is one of the best rides there. And there's some Cedar Fair parks that certainly could use a good launch coaster. I'm looking at you, Worlds of Fun, Michigan's Adventure. A lot of people have been suggesting California's Great America. And the fact of the matter is, I could see this ride end up at any of those locations. Especially since places like Worlds of Fun and Michigan's Adventure haven't received a new roller coaster in a long time, over 10 years. So if the ride is not at the end of its service life, I really hope that they're able to breathe new life into this attraction and that this isn't really goodbye. But on the off chance it is goodbye, I'm sure that whatever takes its place will be a lot better. And there's a lot of potential here. While Cedar Point has a lot of roller coasters, they they don't have everything. There are still gaps in their lineup. And I think really what kind of attractions we could be looking at boils down to the space that we have to work with. Now, when you look at just the Wicked Twister plot of land, there's not much here. It is very narrow. It's long, but that's about it. They do have some space left over from this theater that they used to have that had this all wheels extreme sports show. They bulldoze that to the ground and they've been using it as kind of event space. They had like a temporary stage set up. So you have that to work with, but that still doesn't give them much. However, I think that there's more to this than just Wicked Twister closing. Right next to that attraction is Kitty Kingdom, arguably the worst area in Cedar Point. It is in need of a huge renovation. Cedar Point has three kids areas. Two of them are right next to each other. Kitty Kingdom borders Planet Snoopy, which has a lot nicer attractions. Kitty Kingdom, most of the rides are old, they're small. Not saying you have to tear everything out. However, I think that whatever they build here, they could use some of the space and also tie in with some sort of renovation to the area. Because whenever Cedar Point adds a new attraction, they typically redo the area around it. Look at something like Val Raven, Steel Vengeance, Gatekeeper, even Rougarou to some extent. So whatever attraction goes here, absolutely you can expect the area surrounding it to improve. And I think that's gonna include Kitty Kingdom. If they want to work with more than just a really narrow plot of land, then they have to expand outwards. It'll be challenging. I mean, you have essentially Windseeker on one side that they can't go any further than that. They'd have to go around the giant wheel or move the giant wheel somewhere else in the park, which frankly is very possible. That would not be the first time the giant wheel will have been relocated. I think it actually could do very well on the Gemini Midway. So let's say theoretically you move that and you're taking up some of the land of Kitty Kingdom. Now you have a lot bigger of a space to work with. So I think what it really will come down to is once Wicked Twister closes and they start disassembling it or they just bulldoze it to the ground, whatever it is, we want to start looking for those construction fences and seeing exactly what sort of space we have to work with. And then I'll do a whole new video about it. 
because then that'll give us a better idea of our potential new attractions. Whatever comes though, I wouldn't expect it until 2023. That is assuming Cedar Fair is planning on immediately investing in a new attraction to go here. Because of COVID, I could see them maybe waiting. I mean, look at how long that volcano plot of land is probably gonna be sitting there at King's Dominion. And Cedar Fair is being fairly conservative during the pandemic. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I mean, it is very possible that they might have just removed Wicked Twister because, hey, this ride is too expensive. It's not getting enough ridership and we're trying to cut costs, which if that's the case, we might not see a new attraction until maybe 2024. The only reason why I'm skeptical about that is because this is Cedar Point. It is the chain's crown jewel. And so logically, I think that they would try and do something about it to replace it sooner rather than later. But let's get to what those new attractions could be. Personally, I see two realistic options that I think would be good here. And the first one I think is obvious. They need a good wooden roller coaster. The only two that they had are Blue Streak and Mean Streak. Mean Streak got RM Seed, so all they're left with is Blue Streak, which is a classic. Nothing wrong with it, but it's old. A modern wooden roller coaster like a big old GCI or Gravity Group would be fantastic here. Cedar Fair has a long-standing working relationship with GCI. They're always very popular attractions. So absolutely, I could see them putting a wooden roller coaster here. And with the lift hill going right up against the skyline, I mean, it'd be very reminiscent of an old wooden roller coaster at like the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk or Coney Island. So it could be very cool looking. The only issue that I potentially see with it is Cedar Point loves breaking records. It's sort of their thing. Personally, I don't think you need to break records. All you need is a good ride, but I'm not sure what sort of records you could break with putting in a GCI. I don't know, I'm sure they'd think of something. Maybe they throw a couple inversions on it, use those new Infinity Flyer trains that they've been advertising at IAPA. So it could be interesting to see. I personally think that would be the best fit there, but the other option I see is a Gerslauer Infinity Coaster, something like Hang Time. So this would not be the first time that Cedar Fair would have worked with Gerslauer, and Hang Time is pretty well liked. It's a very pretty attraction, and if they went with that same sort of style, oh man, would that ride look good in this area. Especially give it a light package from KCL, oh my gosh, at night, that would look so good here. And in terms of records, maybe they go for the inversion record. Currently, it's nine here in America. It's 14 worldwide, I don't think they'd break that, but maybe they go with over nine inversions. They could also go with a roller coaster with a beyond vertical drop, so it'd be maybe the steepest ride in the park, only ride in the park with a vertical lift hill. The only thing they'd have to be conscious of is capacity. I mean, something like Hang Time that has four by four trains, so 16 riders per train. If you run three trains, I mean, you should be okay. But if you went with like eight per train, so it's a more compact ride vehicle, then yeah, I could see how that could cause some issues. So realistically, I think those are the two best options for this location. Obviously, there's a few attractions that I think would be really cool for Cedar Point to get. But when you look at the manufacturers and the ride types that Cedar Fair works with and has done before, they're not a huge fan of going super risky. So it'll be interesting to see what happens, but I'm not going to place any bets so far as to which they're actually going to go with because first things first we're gonna have to see the plot of land that we have to work with so we'll have to wait and see what they do be sure to get your last rides in on wicked twister before it's gone potentially forever hopefully not though just keep an eye on those construction crews if they start disassembling wicked twister carefully or if they just bring a wrecking ball to it hoping it's not that second option. But I wanna hear what you guys think of this big announcement from Cedar Point and what you think the future of the park is. Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, stay tuned for more news and speculation here at Coaster Studios, and I'll see you next time.